Hello everyone. So I'm out in the garden today just working on a few things, pruning, mostly pruning and tying up tomatoes. And I've come across some interesting things that I wanted to show you. So, oh, and look at that sunflower there. Do you see that? Oh, so pretty. I'll give you a closer look. Let me turn you around. Look at that beauty. I did not plant that. That massive sunflower seeded itself, squirrel or something, or maybe seeds from last year's sunflowers that I planted, but very cool. What else did I want to show you? Oh, this isn't tomato related, but looky here. We have tromboncino squash. There's one, there's one. Let's see, ooh, there's one. So that's fun. I'll show you this first. So this is the tomato plant trophy. And I made a boo-boo this morning. So it was it was sticking out on the other side. And so I tried to kind of pull and tuck it back in and then boo cracked that off and I don't think I have any suckers nope that I see happening so yep I've taken them all off so what flowers I have on here are going to be the flowers that have tomatoes so I'm going to have to enjoy <laughs> these because I just decapitated that tomato plant and it is not going to grow any more vertically it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. I think that I have plenty more tomatoes that I think I'll be all right. But it is still a bummer when you do that to one of your plants. You know, I should have just left it alone, but instead I was trying to pry a big chunk of it through the wire and just lopped it right off. So you live and you learn. I won't do that next time. Here's one I wanted to show you, if I can get it. Look how beautiful that is. This It hasn't turned the color it's gonna be, but this one is, this one is Beauty King. But look at these, absolutely gorgeous tomatoes on there. And then these right here, look how tiny they are. This is the orange currant. So this is more like novelty type tomato. I think there's a couple of ripe ones right back here, yeah. Let me see if I can get them off of here. They might not be quite ripe, but... Yeah, they're not quite ripe, but that's okay. That's how big <laughs> currant tomatoes are. Oh, tart. But that's blossom and rot, unfortunately. Which one is this? This one is Tidwell's German. I actually don't even see. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Yeah, Tidwell German all has blossom and rot. So it's kind of interesting how the ones right beside it, this one is red brandy. It's fine. There's no blossom end rod on that. And then the one beside it on the other side, Carolina gold, again, nothing. So, you know, you kind of want to make notes of varieties that do this because maybe they're not meant for your soil. It's very disappointing. And then right here, I need to remove this baggie because all of the flowers have now pollinated. And 
take the baggie off. You can see the flowers there. Well, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of bright. They're all shriveled up. That means they've been, you know, they kind of look like a dead flower, like you would deadhead. And that means that they were pollinated. So we'll take the seed saving baggie off. This one is Prairie Fire Plum. That's a really fun shape. You see those? They're pretty. And this one's Powers Yellow Sauce. That one's really neat looking too. Look at this beast of a tomato. That is on the Nature's Riddle plant. So that's gonna be a massive tomato. A lot of these are really big, like. This one is triple crop. And look at this truss of tomatoes here. Can you see all of these? And it looks like they're all pollinated. There's like, yeah, yeah, that one's pollinated. So yeah, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tomatoes. And then there's more over here and more over here. Oh, look at all those. Triple crop is going crazy. This one is orange ox heart. That's pretty. This little baggie right here has one more flower. That needs to die off right there. Give it a little shake. And then we can remove the baggie on that because all the other ones look like they pollinated. Here's my giant crimson. So there's one, two, three, four, five tomatoes right there. Six, seven. So I am going to have lots of seeds to share. Excited about that. This one here, look at that beautiful truss of tomatoes. This is German pink. Those are just beautiful. I'm getting a little leaf spot on these, so I'm gonna need to spray them down with some hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna do that later once the sun kind of goes down. And look at this. Let's see if I can get it in the shade. Oh. Look at that massive tomato there. And then, like some of these are just huge. They're gonna be huge. That one, and then this one's kind of gnarly. Let me get up underneath of it, I think. See if I can show you that. I'm not really one that pulls off the fused blossoms. For me, I kind of find it cool and interesting to see what they end up as. So I usually leave them. Also for the weird fear that I'll pull that blossom off and oh my gosh, uh, none of the other tomatoes will pollinate or none of the other flowers will pollinate and then I won't get any tomatoes. So it's like I, those fused blossoms might be my only chance of a tomato. So I just have a hard time doing it. All right, this one here is White Tomasole. It is surprisingly very, very productive. There are flowers all over it. But what I wanted to show you, let's see if I can find it saw it this morning but like a lot of them are pollinated where are you little guy is this it no look at that big boy oh here it is look at this now it looks like it is definitely fused but right on the edges there. But look at these lashes on it. Is that not wild looking? So I'm incredibly interested to see what this looks like when it's ripe. 
Oh, here's another thing I wanted to show you. Look at this beast. This is Barry's Crazy Cherry. And I want to show you. If I pull this one over, that right there is one entire truss. This one right here, look at all those flowers, all of those wee tomatoes. And then look up top, more of those trusses that are just covered in flowers. This is gonna be, oh, well, like it said, it is a crazy cherry. And then these two here side by side, I got from uh, Hand Me Down Farms, some really cool varieties. This one is Blue Jollies. You can start to see there's some of the blue on it. They're really pretty. And then the one beside it is Violet Jasper. But look at the look at the coloring on that. I don't know if you can see. Because I can't really see. It's hard for me to see in this light. But isn't aren't they pretty? Oh, they're so pretty. This one here is blush. It's always been a pretty big producer for me. But I keep forgetting that. I need to stop, at a certain point, I stop pruning my cherry tomatoes and just let them do their thing. But I keep on pruning this one, but I need to stop doing it. But Like I said, no big deal. I think I have plenty of tomatoes to spare. So this is the cherry tomato row you can see there. I just kind of let it grow wild. I don't, I mean, I prune the leaves a little bit, but I stop pruning off the suckers after I get to a certain point from the ground. But then, you know, you need to keep them upright, otherwise they flop over. So usually what I do is I take just one big old piece of this and wrap it around like six or seven stalks of it and tie it to the, so I've done that all the way across just to make sure they all continue to go upright. Oh, here's one that's like so close to being ripe. This is the Isis Candy Cherry. Oh, yay, I'm so excited. Oh, here's another one. Ooh, is this ripe? That looks like it's ripe. Is it though? Is this a super sweet 100? No, it doesn't quite feel ripe yet, so I'm going to leave it. These got all mixed up, darn it. So there's a couple of the uh, orange currant again. They're so tiny. Oop, drop that one. Teeny weeny that it kind of be almost like... <laughs> I mean, they're cute. They'd be really fun in a salad or on a charcuterie board, but... Like to sit here and pick off like a thousand of those off your tomato plant. I think you'd just be like, no. But picking a handful or so, that'd be fine. But there's going to be a lot of them that drop seed probably right there. <laughs> That's okay. Look at this gnarly one. Oh, that is insane. I don't even know how many flowers that is fused together. That one is Dr. Weish's. That looks like that's the only tomato I have. Nope, there's another one. And again, it's, it's a big beast. See, that's what's called cat facing. So sometimes if you leave your tomatoes that are fused like that, you end up getting like rot spots. So some people will actually just pick off their fused blossoms because they don't want a bunch of like wonky tomatoes that have bottoms like that. I love the shape of ox heart tomatoes. This is pink ox heart. I just think they're so adorably shaped. Who am I kidding? I think all my tomatoes are adorable. Here's another fused blossom one. I can get up underneath there and show you how that looks. Oh, look at this Abe Lincoln. That one's gonna be a beauty. 
That one there is going to be a beauty. Can't wait to put that on a sandwich. Look at all those tomatoes. Oh, look at these. This is black strawberry. Look at how pretty that is. They are so pretty. They're a little low to the ground than what I would like, but there's plenty on there. I'm just hoping the chipmunks or the squirrels don't get to them before I do. I might have to pick them before they're like completely ripe. Look at that row of just tomatoes. I love it. Look at that. Look at those, they are just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This one is Pruden's Purple. Not taking on any purple color yet. I'm just so excited for some ripe ones. I just can't wait. And to save seeds, knowing that I'm gonna have so many seeds next year. Seeds to trade. Look at that garden. Isn't that a thing of beauty. It's hard to even see what it looks like because it's just so covered in green. <sighs> Brings me so much happiness to be in here. At a certain point, some of these are getting so big I can't reach the top of them anymore. I have to enlist my husband's help to help me tie them up a little bit. Oh, I see one. That's going to be a big old boy. Look at that. That one is, let me see, follow it down, follow it down, follow it down. Well, I don't see a label. I don't know what this one is. It's going to be a mystery. Look at that beautiful flower. That's going to make me a big old tomato. Yep. You ever see this stuff stuck to your, like, tomato? That's just the flower that was there. You just flick it off it'll fall off okay guys well that's gonna be it for the I don't know what it got, I'm gonna call this tomato tour just wanted to show you some of the interesting things that I came across this morning as my during my garden walk through I usually take a walk through my garden every day just to you know keep an eye on stuff but Headed back inside because it's like 90 degrees today and I'm not, I'm not playing around with that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one. Enjoy your day.